Hola Aries Sun, Aquarius Moons, welcome to your 2025 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. When you see this is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings in my playlist and see if they rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format this year. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards for the first half of the year take a quick look at your 2025 the second portion will be in the Vimeo link below where I will have the second half of the year plus clarifiers plus a card of advice for 2025 so Aries Sun Aquarius Moons you are smart as a whip and fast on your feet you can usually draw conclusions options and solutions fairly quickly and tend to just go with them and see what happens full of energy and needing varying activities in your life many have a hard time keeping up not only did they better do so to get your admiration but you have a little pity for people who are not self-sufficient and whine you make it a habit to be stronger than your excuses and expect that from everyone with whom you associate in love and personal relationships, you have no problem attracting friends or the opposite sex. Most find you alluring, magnetic, charming, and friendly. You're usually the one to make the first move, letting a loved one know your attentions. You're not into mind games or beating around the bush. For you, being direct is the best approach to having your needs met. When at work, you have an innate quality where you can persuade anybody into doing anything. This tendency lends itself to being a great leader as people will follow you with complete faith. Unconventional and a forward thinker, you usually you use these qualities in your career endeavors. Typically, you have your eye on living the lifestyle of the rich and famous, but you're more than willing to work hard for it. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Gods, Universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries, Sun, Aquarius, Spoons for the year 2025? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine? What do you see for January and February? We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer me to a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse for the period of March and April. And then what do we have for May and June for Aries, Sun, Aquarius, Moons? We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Alrighty, so it looks like in January, February, you are you have found something out. Um, I think it was something that was hidden for a while. I think it's about somebody. Um, typically, it's the thief exposed. So I feel as though somebody was having an affair. Somebody was having some sort of secret. Um, somebody was uh, doing something they shouldn't be doing. Um, it could be something that's illegal. Um, and I feel as though you knew the whole time. And now that you found out, it's kind of like, oh, I knew it. I was so justified in thinking that person person was doing something. Um, so that's the good part of it. The bad part of it is in March and April, I see you being really kind of ramped up about what you're going to do. It's almost like I can't let this person kind of get away with this. I need to figure something out. Um, but what should I do? So I see you rethinking all these scenarios and trying to figure out, you know, what you're going to do. Um, you may have, for some of you, you may have hoped that this person was going to change before you actually had to do something about it, but I don't see that happening. So there's a sense of frustration that kind of comes along with that. Um, but I do think the wheels are spinning in regards to how you're going to out this person or how um, you're going to get justice for the people that they've wronged. And in May and June with the Ace of Swords in reverse, what I'm seeing is you not, not being able to see your way forward in regards to this. So you don't really have a concise set plan plan in order um, for how you're going to go about that, about this. But in addition to that, now you're starting to second guess yourself. You're starting to wonder, well, wait a minute, maybe, maybe I wasn't in my right mind when I was judging this person. Maybe, um, you know, there's a reason for it. Maybe they had a, um, you know, maybe they were dishonest, but maybe it's not as bad as, you know, I made it out to be. So you're really, like I said, starting to second guess yourself, not being able to see your, you know, see the forest for the trees and having general confusion again about how you're going to kind of proceed forward. So, um, 
that is what I have for you at this present time. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. But make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for the second portion of this reading while I would do the second half of your year in addition to clarifiers for everything and a card of advice for 2025. Um, also check out your 2024 sun moon reading, see if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, or donate. Or or refer me to a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Aries Sun, Aquarius Moons, I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.